everyone, JJIR here. In this video, we're going to see how to control the volume and the brightness of an iPad with just your keyboard. Now, before we begin that, I just wanted to make sure that we clarify that you can do this fairly easily if you have a Magic Trackpad or a Magic Keyboard. You can go up here with the mouse and click on the upper right here. And then with two fingers scrolling, you can actually raise and lower both the volume and the brightness. But the idea here is to avoid using the mouse completely. So to do that, we're going to have to use two applications. Well, one essentially, and another one's optional. But basically, if you go here and you go to the application that's called Shortcuts, which I have here, and if we click on Shortcuts here, this will open up something similar or equal to this. And then all you have to do is go to Click Shortcut, or Create Shortcut, rather. And then here, what we're gonna do is we're going to go to Scripting, and then scripting, what you're going to go do is go down here to where we have as for input. I'll click on that. And then go here to show more. I'm going to click on number. You can put anything you want up here because this is really just secondary. You could almost leave it blank if you wanted to, but we'll just put volume here. And then put a question mark. Again, this is optional. You're just going to leave it as it is. And then after that, we're going to go up to what we have here, which is the if. And then we have if provided input, which comes out to be the number here. We have condition, which is going to put is. And then we're going to put a 5 here. Oh, stayed up here. Let's get rid of that. Let's go down here. Type 5. This otherwise we don't need. We're just going to kill it. And then we're going to go in down to volume here. We're going to type that one. He's out of place. We don't want him down there. We're going to drag him up here with the mouse. And then here we're going to put this as 5%. And that is essentially it. Now what we're going to do is I'll just do, uh, do this one more time so you can see how it is. But after you have this, all you're going to do is do the same. So we're going to go over here, click on if again. This puts in our if statement. We get rid of the otherwise. We don't need it. And then we'll go down to the set volume. Click on that, move them up here. You can actually drag these from the beginning. So for example, you can grab this here and then move it here to the lower part. As you can see, there's a slight indent staying. There's an if there. And then here, the same thing. We'll just go here, is, and then number, we'll put 10. And then down here, we'll put 10% just so you can see how it works. So the idea here is that you can put as many as you want. I have this from five to 90, but you can do this however you like in relationship to how many times you want to put percentages down. But even though this will take some time at the beginning, you only have to do it once, and that's cool. And then after you do it one time, then set and done forever. So hopefully in iOS 14, we'll actually have keyboard shortcuts that allow us to do the volume and the brightness, but the process here is gonna be the same as well for brightness. As you can see, there's a brightness button here. And the, you're going to do the exact same thing. You just put brightness up here and then down here. Instead of dragging volume, you just drag the brightness and you change the percentages and it is exactly the same. So in the end, if you want this thing to go bring you back to the home screen, this is the extra step here. You can actually do this by command and H. So if you type command, pressing command down and then typing H, this will bring you back to the home screen. But if you don't want to do that extra step, you can actually add something more here which would be the following. You can go up here to back and then go to web and then go down here and we're gonna add URL. Okay, so URL at the end here. And then URL here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in the following. Launcher colon and then slash slash and then crash. This really is weird, but this is the way you can do it. Launcher is an app, even though we're using an URL, that's also extremely weird here. But the fact of the matter is, this is a, an application, which is called Launcher, which is this guy here, he's free, you don't have to pay anything, but you do have to install it for this to work. So after you have that, and then the last thing you do is just go up here to finish this off and put open URLs, and then that is the end of it. So after that's done, we just go click on next. We can name this and we'll just put volume two for right now. We already have one here. So we'll leave it like that. And then we'll click on done. As you can see here, we have this here. And then if we right click on this with your magic trackpad, two fingers, tap, then you here you have the possibility of seeing details and in details we can go to add to home screen. So we'll add this here, click on add. It'll say it's ready to go, and then click on done. 
So now that's the whole process. You don't have anything else. I already have two done here, so I'm not going to redo this again. So I'm going to delete this. You've seen the process. So right click here, delete, delete shortcut. Okay, so we have these two here. So we're going to go down to the home page with the command H. This one we're going to delete because we don't need him anymore. Yes, we'll delete him. Here I have a whole folder of shortcuts that I use. I'll explain some other of these things in other videos, but for right now we have volume and brightness. So once we're done with that, then all we have to do is do the following. We're going to click on command space, which allows us to search for things. We're going to type volume here. Volume, we'll click on enter. This will automatically open up the volume rocker, so to speak, shortcut that we made. And here we can put any percentages that we have previously created in the shortcut. So in this case, I'm going to put, for example, 30. This will bring the volume up to 30%. And as you can see up here, it changed that. And then with the launcher, it brought me back to the home screen. So here, if I want to go to another application, all I have to do is click on Command and Tab, and this will move this around. You can also use Command Tab to go to the home screen, funny enough. But sometimes there's so many applications open that you really don't want to do this. So the other thing you can do just to make sure you see this, you can actually go Q here and that will actually delete it from the list that you have there. So when you do this, it doesn't show, but be careful. It doesn't close the application. It just takes it off the list here. So essentially you could make this to where the home screen, just the command tab brought you the home screen, but it's a little bit redundant here. So once that's done, you actually have your volume and your brightness. The brightness will be the same way. So if we go to command space, brightness, Sometimes it'll come out all of a sudden, and all you do is click enter, brightness, we want brightness 30% as well, enter, and then it'll say okay, and that's it. So as you can see, we've actually been able to configure both volume and brightness without having to touch the screen at all in any way, shape, or form. So with that, you can use those shortcuts, and you can create others that, like I said, I'll see in other videos, but hopefully this will be okay for you until Crossing our fingers, iOS 14 allows us to have keyboard shortcuts for both of these things. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If this helps you, subscribe. And if you have any questions, please leave those in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.